all right guys welcome back to the dog father's barbecue youtube channel and uh hey you want to learn how to make beef ribs like this stick around i'm gonna show you how all right guys so that's right today we're doing beef ribs now beef ribs sometimes is kind of tricky to people but i'm going to show you a really good way to make your beef ribs and it's really not going to be much of a fuss at all uh, with that, today we're doing a collaboration video with my buddy Clarence Joseph over at Mama and Papa Joe's Barbecue. So, uh, this should be a fun cook, guys. So, hey, let's get into it. All right, guys. So, here we have our uh, beef short ribs here. And uh, we just got some uh, good little uh, choice cut beef uh, ribs from our local HEB. And we're just going to give them a little look-see. Like, stuff like this we're going to go ahead and trim off because uh, they're just going to kind of burn up there in our cook. So I'm just going to trim just a little bit. Uh, good thing about beef ribs is it's not really a lot that you have to do uh, to get them ready for the grill. Uh, we're going to leave the fat cap on today and just kind of develop a really good bark across this fat cap. So there's really not a lot that we're going to do. Now the membrane that we have across the back here, we're going to leave it in place because that's actually going to help hold those beef ribs together uh, a little later into the, uh, into the cook. So if they get really super tender on you, you know, those uh, membranes is what's going to hold that together for you. So we're going to leave those on. Uh, as I said, we're just doing a little minimal trim here. Not really a lot coming off of this at all. And we're going to get these things all seasoned up, guys. All right, so now that we got these ribs all uh, cleaned up the way we want them, we're going to get them seasoned and we're going to use a slather. And today I'm going to be using some uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. That's what I'm going to put on here as my binder today, just because so we like a little bit of heat and, uh, you know, it's just a good binder to use. So we're going to put a little bit on and uh, kind of get this rubbed in, worked around on this rib, or I should say these ribs. If you're not a fan of uh, hot sauce, guys, you don't have to use it. You can use whatever you want to use for your binder. Uh, it's just what I prefer to use today. Now, the rub of choice today is going to be from uh, Texas Select Seasoning, and this is going to be the Rustic Rub, guys. Now, this rub I have never used before, and I actually learned about this rub from my good buddy, old Clarence Joseph over there at uh, Mama and Papa Joe's. And so we're going to be using some of this today here. Now, as I tasted this straight out of the bottle, it has a really good flavor. It's got a good hint of, uh, of garlic in it. It's got a good hint of salt in there as well. So I'm not going to use any kosher salt. And uh, it's got the cumins in it and some peppers. And so we're just going to be using this alone today as our rug, guys. So we're going to get these bad boys seasoned up with it. All right, now that we got these all rubbed up with our uh, rustic rub, we're gonna get it on our grill. Now today we're gonna be using our Louisiana Grills Black Label 1200, and we're running it with some uh, post oak B&B &B pellets. And so we're gonna get these ribs put on. Now we're running our pit today at 275 degrees, guys. I find that works out to be a good temperature for me, so that's what we're going to roll with. Alright, so we got these ribs put on. We're going to close it up, and I'll bring you guys back in a little while. Alright guys, so we just hit the two hour mark here, and we're going to go ahead and get the uh, spritz put on here. Now today I'm using the spritz of uh, three parts to one, three parts water, one part of Worcestershire sauce, and then I added about two tablespoons of uh, hot sauce to this. So we're going to get this spritzed onto our ribs. Again, this is the two hour mark, and they're looking pretty good. Uh, we're still pretty juicy in here. Uh, the bark is still working on it but you know it's coming along but we're going to go ahead and give it a spritz right quick all 
All right, we're gonna close it up and keep it going. All right, guys, so hey, as I said before, this is a collaboration cook. That's right, we're doing a beef rib collaboration cook with my brother Clarence Joseph over at Mama and Papa Joe's Barbecue. Now, this guy might be new to YouTube, but trust me, he is not new to barbecue. This guy is a well-decorated uh, competition barbecue cook, so he knows his way around the grill, guys. So uh, down in the description box, I'm gonna put the information for his channel, guys. Make sure you go check out his channel, give him a subscribe, uh, you know, check out the video that he's doing for this collaboration and give him a thumbs up and tell him the uh, dog father sent you. So uh, if I know Clarence, eh, I'm getting to know him pretty well. He's probably over there cooking up some sort of uh, special beef rib right now for this collaboration. So we better get back to the grill and finish off this cook. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, here we are again. We're at the four hour mark now. Still rolling at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And our ribs are looking pretty good. The uh, bark seems to be setting pretty well. Getting a little crunchy here and there. So we are gonna hit it again with our spritz. So here we go, spritz time. And again, guys, this uh, bottle, a lot of you guys ask me, what am I spritzing with? Where can you get it? Make sure you check the links in the description box and go to my uh, link tree where you can find this on my Amazon page. All right? All right, we get this closed up and I'll bring you guys back in a while. All right, guys, so let's do a recap of what we did with today's cook. So we're taking part of a collaboration today with my brother Clarence over at Mama and Papa Joe's Barbecue, and we're doing beef ribs. So I got a couple of racks of USDA choice cut beef ribs from my local HEB. We got them out of the package and we used hot sauce as our binder today. Now we use Texas Select Seasoning today and we use their rustic rub and that's what we use to uh, season up these uh, beef ribs with today. We didn't put anything else on it. Uh, this rub has a great flavor on its own and it's the first time I've used it so I wanted to use it by itself to make sure I got a great authentic flavor for it. So we got it onto our uh, Louisiana Grills Black Label 1200 and we're running it today at 275 degrees. Now after about two hours we came back to check our ribs and we're just kind of looking at it to see you know the progression of the cook if we need to spritz it or not that sort of thing if we're cooking too fast if we're cooking too slow we're doing perfectly fine. We spritzed it up there and today we're using a mixture of water and Worcestershire sauce or W sauce and a little bit more hot sauce. We got the grill closed back up and we let it keep rolling. Now at the four hour mark, we came back and we did the exact same thing. We spritzed it just to keep these ribs nice and moist. Overall, it took us about six and a half hours to get these ribs completed. At that six and a half hour mark, we came back and checked the tenderness. Now we used our Thermapro just to poke around on this rib and see how tender it was. If you notice, we didn't even wrap these today, guys. No wrap beef ribs whatsoever. This was all done directly on the Black Label 1200 today, and they came out perfectly tender. So now you are all caught up with what happened on today's cook, so let's get over here and uh, let's go take some ribs, all right? Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are. We've got our ribs out. I've just got one rack out right now, and we're gonna go ahead and get these cut up. Now, today I'm gonna be using, again, one of my Dow Strong knives here. And as I've said before, uh, guys, if you don't have Dow Strong knives and you wanna get you some, make sure you check out the links down there in the uh, description box and go get you a set. Remember, Dog 10 gets you a 10% discount on your uh, Dow Strong knives. But man, you can see that these ribs are glistening very well. Uh, they're <laughs> feeling really tender and just feeling really good. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get these cut up here. Cutting like butter. All right. Now, there you go, guys. Look at that. Now, that is one tasty looking beef rib, if I do say so myself. Looking pretty good there. So, as you can see, guys, we got a, you know, it's a very tiny, uh, it's a very tiny little uh, smoke ring there on the outside there. 
wasn't too bad, but I really feel like it cooked very well for us today. So let's go ahead and get some of this cut. Now, you know what? Let's just eat this, man. So let's take a bite of this rib and see how it is. All right. So let's go. All right, guys. So, hey, as I always tell you guys in my videos, if you like what you saw here, make sure you check out these videos I got listed right here as well as click on that subscribe button up there, all right? I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Beef ribs, let's go.